This is an unexpected video. I wasn't expecting to make this video, but I started playing around with complete control when I was looking for one of, you know, I knew I had some harps uh, in my collection somewhere, but I've never spent any time with complete control. If you know everything about complete control, this video probably isn't for you. It's a really great way to catalog not only your native instruments plugins, but your other instruments as well. I mean, I would not have found this minor chords patch if I hadn't looked around here. And it's got all of these other things cataloged. It's got a preview feature. Listen to all of these different things that I've got all these different harps that, uh, you know, I didn't even know I had. Of course, it finds harpsichords. <laughs> Sometimes it has these really musical examples of uh, the preview. So if you need to get in there and control things, you've got different, um, different controls to look at that help you control the instrument easily. You can see the rest of the interface with the plus here. I've, I've never really played this uh, particular Cora before, even though I've played some of the other things in the West Africa. You know, you've got different little drum beat previews. But what really got me was realizing that it wasn't just Native Instruments things. We've also got things like this, which was an Arturia patch, and I didn't even realize that it had been secretly <laughs> cataloging all of my um, Arturia synths. So this is the synth clavier and, you know, who knew that all of this stuff was available and easy to find in complete control? Probably you. I mean, if you're still watching, maybe you didn't. But wait, there's more! It's the next day and I was thinking about how silly I've been for not uh, exploring complete control further in the past. I think I assumed that it was for people who had the hardware. I also noticed that you not only get a list of all your instruments and types and characters, but if you want to look around, you can see all the different manufacturers that it has cataloged for you. So I can even find my newest VST, El Clapo, which I did a video on recently. And you get pictures of all the manufacturers when you uh, collapse that, that little menu there for types and characters and search. It'll show you by category and by vendor all your different manufacturers. So there's my Arturia stuff. Here's my cinematic samples, Embertone. Uh, we've also got, you know, Heaviosity stuff. Uh, this is great. These are the... Uh, interesting that it decided not to include Damage 1. That's probably up in the Native Instruments section here. Damage 1 is, yeah, right there up in Native Instruments. Well, yeah, let's look at all of our drums. Let's see if I can see... Yeah, here we go, all the drums. So we've got Damage 2 from Heaviosity, Dramatic cre Creator from In Session Audio. This is great. Oh, I have more Keep Forests, but maybe they aren't all made for complete control, or they're not in the right location. I may need to rescan. Uh, let's see. So yeah, you've got some orchestral tools, some Spitfire. Wow, even Dune 2! is shown here. So I get all of my Dune synths. Wow, that's fantastic. We've got Whoosh from uh, Tonsturm. U-Jam's Iron. I think I got that for free somewhere. Oh, Waves Element and Grand Rhapsody Piano. That's cool. You can find in the Finder. Let's see what Orchestral Tools gives you for controls. Looks like we've got the mic positions. The A, yep, all these are the mics. Oh, the attack and the release. Well, I can get a single note playing, but it's not exactly arpeggiating when I play a chord. Well, that looks like something to explore. So I found the harp that I was looking for, and, uh, you know, I found a whole lot more. I just hope that you get a chance to explore Complete Control if you've got it installed, and let it catalog all of your uh, sample libraries. All right, go out there and make some good music.